Yeah, I think it's really positive to see how well the markets are recovering so quickly here. And I think realistically, it's just showing that all the volatility we've had over the last month or so is nothing more than a run of the mill correction that we tend to see once every 12 months. But I do think we'll probably continue to see some of your longer duration assets like your tech firms reprice as interest rates do continue to rise. So we're really making sure that our investors are looking at good opportunities as we look forward this year. And I think one thing we're looking at is we're likely going to see this big shift in consumer behavior where it's not just goods that we're buying. It's now going to be things like leisure, hospitality, travel. It's that services sector that I think we're really wanting to look at here. I think airlines, for example, can be a really good way of playing that. So just looking for some of those opportunities here as things are shifting means take advantage of those deals as they're still happening. Seems like the message under the surface of this market action, Courtney, could be that the markets believe that the Fed can actually be effective in fighting inflation with, with higher rates. That, that seems to be the all clear at this point, at least when you take a look at what moved today in, in the face of a 10-year Treasury yield at 196. Yeah, and I, I completely agree with that. I think seeing all this positivity just means a lot of this has probably already been priced in. The markets have really digested this news. And realistically, with interest rates where they are right now, we're still barely back to where they were pre-pandemic levels. So it's not like we're seeing interest rates skyrocket. I think that would be something that's going to spook the stock markets a lot more. Uh, but rates will probably continue to rise, and the markets just need to get on board with that, which just seems like they are, and that's a very positive sign.